Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover why we have the order of operations. Why do we use the order of operations? Remember, the order of operations are parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction, PEMDAS. Now, simply put, we use the order of operations. That way, everyone is on the same page as far as working through problems. We all work through them the same way in order to get to the same answers. And there isn't any confusion about how to work through things. We all use the same set of rules, the same set of instructions. That's the order of operations. Let's take a look at an example to show why this is important. We have 12 minus 5 times 2. Let's work through this two different ways. We will start by forgetting about the order of operations. Let's say that a person works from left to right, starting with 12 minus 5. So what's this going to look like? Well, 12 minus 5 is 7 bring down everything we did not use, so the multiplication sign and the 2. Now we have 7 times 2, which is 14. So our final answer when we work from left to right is 14. Now let's do 12 minus 5 times 2 another way. We're going to start by doing multiplication first. So let's say this person starts with multiplication, which would be 5 times 2. So let's start there. 5 times 2 is 10. Bring down everything we did not use. So the 12 and the subtraction sign. So now we end with 12 minus 10 which is two. So our final answer when we start with multiplication is two. So you can see that we have two different answers, even for a simple problem like this. So imagine a more complex problem and the number of possible answers. That's why we need the order of operations, a set of rules we can all follow to get to the same answer. Now, taking a look at the order of operations, we do multiplication before subtraction. So 2 is the correct answer for this problem. Think of it like this. If everyone had their own set of rules for stoplights, we would have some issues. So if some people used red for go and green for stop, and then others used green for go and red for stop, that would definitely cause confusion. But that's not how things work. We have a set of rules to go by. That way, we are all on the same page. Now, we can also relate this to measurement. If everyone had their own idea of what a foot, a meter, or any other unit of measure was, that wouldn't work out. There would be a lot of confusion and differences. A foot, a meter, and all other units of measure are the same for everyone. That way, we can all be on the same page, and there isn't confusion from person to person. We have a standard way of doing things, a set of rules we can all go by. And that's what the order of operations is. So there you have it. That's why we use the order of operations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.